the first step is to set up the ray box. You can see I've got the ray box set up here. I've also got the mirror set up at an angle and I've used a single slit grating so that a single ray of light is hitting the mirror. Okay, now what I've done is I've pulled out a ruler and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace over the, uh, the ray lines with a pencil. You should be using a, a lead pencil, but in my case I'll be using pink ink so that you can see more clearly. I now need to draw the normal to the mirror. So I've pulled out a set square. I have my set square lined up exactly against the edge of the mirror. And then what I'm going to do is to draw the normal at 90 degrees to the surface of the mirror. I'm also going to add a label to that line. I'm going to label it normal. And I'm also going to add some labels to my line. So this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray. I can actually remove most of the things that we can see on the screen. So I'm going to remove the, uh, the mirror. I don't need it there anymore. I can remove the set square. I can also remove the ray box. So you'll notice that I've added two additional labels. I've now labeled the angle of incidence, little i, and the angle of reflection, little r. The last step now is to actually measure these angles. So I need to line up my protractor exactly so that it lines up. We've got the, this, the zero lining up with one edge of the angle. We've got the midpoint of the protractor lining up exactly with the, um, with the corner of the angle. And you can see that in this case, the angle of incidence measures 30 degrees. Now, all I need to do is to turn the protractor around. And in my case, the angle of reflection measures 46 degrees. Now, if I had constructed my diagram properly, I would have actually found that the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection were the same. But obviously, I have not constructed my diagram very accurately. Hopefully, you'll be doing a better job of this yourself.